Although raiders in Dragon Ball, the breakers may initially appear unstoppable, this is not the case, and players who take on the role may need strategies to win more easily against wily survivors. Survivors have the ability to perform a dragon change which transforms them into a Z fighter temporarily. So while there are Dragon Ball, the Breakers Raider gameplay pros and cons, if the level of a survivor's D change is higher or the same level as the Raider, they can put up a significant fight until their transformation expires. In one-on-one -on -one fights, the Raider certainly has the advantage, but if survivors group up, they can overwhelm and K. Oh, the Raider outright. To ensure no one escapes, there are a few strategies that players can use to improve their chances of taking out the survivors. In Dragon Ball, the Breakers, many players want to control iconic villains featured throughout DBZ that now take center stage as playable characters, but while other Dragon Ball media has often portrayed Frieza, Cell, and Majin Buu as nearly unstoppable, fans will find some strategies actually work better than others when they're up against a talented team. One foolproof way to win as the Raider is to summon the Eternal Dragon Shenron. If the Raider manages to collect all seven Dragon Balls, they can wish to go up a level, heal themselves, or even become invulnerable. If survivors acquire them, they can turn into fan-favorite Dragon Ball anime characters in the Breakers like Goku or Vegeta. The mystical Dragon Balls are scattered throughout the five sections of each map, and can be found in possession of civilians, inside chests, and most importantly, survivors can carry them. In chests, there are a variety of items for survivors to utilize, but one of the items that the raiders can also use is radar. There are multiple ways for raiders to find hiding survivors to become stronger and evolve. Raiders must either take out civilians or fight and destroy survivors. To easily accomplish this, raiders can use three types of radar, civilian, power key, and dragon radar. With power key radar, players can locate and guard the key to absorb, eliminate any player that attempts to take it. Dragon Ball, the Breaker's best anime villains Frieza, Cell, and Boo can use civilian radar to show them the location of civilians, which not only helps them evolve but potentially get a Dragon Ball also. The most useful radar to acquire is the Dragon Radar, as with it, raiders can be led to civilians, survivors, and of course Dragon Balls. Since survivors will be trying to summon Shinrin as well, raiders can use dragon radars to find them, K. O. Them, potentially evolve for doing so, and steal their dragon ball to boot. Besides summoning Shinrin and using radar, destroying the super time machine basically seals the raider's win. As a last resort time patroller trunks from Dragon Ball Xenoverse will create beacons where escape time machines can be called. Survivors can use them to leave the area quickly and pick up any surrounding survivors. They are quite fragile, however, and if a raider destroys even one it's game over and the raider wins. If any survivors manage to escape with this emergency time machine, the raider technically doesn't lose, but fails to make a complete win. Raiders can force spawn the super time machine by obliterating any remaining area where a power key hasn't been activated. This forces survivors to come out of hiding and stop the raider from destroying the super time machine, but beware, doing this too early with multiple survivors can lead to raiders getting overpowered and stun locked. No matter what approach players take as the raider, Dragon Ball, the Breakers is a new perspective unlike anything seen before in previous Dragon Ball games. The only confirmed Raiders are Frieza, Cell, Boo, and Great Ape Vegeta for Season 2, but with the game seemingly running on a gacha system, new content should hopefully be added on a regular basis. 
Raiders featured are currently from Dragon Ball Z, but there is still room for iconic villains from Dragon Ball Super, any theatrical releases, and even from the original Dragon Ball, making the array of new characters that could come to Dragon Ball, the Breakers, both in terms of new Raiders and new Survivor characters.